All right, guys, we got all the thumper fab sliders and rear bumper. It's here. And you want to talk about somebody who packs some stuff well. That's all just cardboard. Slider was in here. Cardboard barrier between the two. Cardboard again. Um, I mean, the tape and the boxes. This is on top of the box. It's double thick, but it's like almost like four walls. It's crazy. Anyway, so one of the sliders here, all the hardware. You take out the T40s. There's four of them on a crew. Take it out, you put the hooks in here, and then the T40 goes back and holds the hook itself. Then you put a washer, then you put the nut, then you put the brackets. Um, I haven't done it yet. All I did is read the instructions at this point. But I mean, there's not a chance you're gonna wreck these. I mean, it's just, I know I've said this before, but I'm just taken back every time I order something from these guys. They're just crazy built, crazy built. Um, the only thing I'm worried about right now is I have a half inch uh, AHMW skid plate, not UHMW, AHMW skid plate that's gonna cover this. So I'm hoping it's gonna slide up underneath when it's on, because this actually covers, you know, you can see where it goes to, but then it covers the whole bottom of each corner as well, full length. So I'm hoping I'll be able to slide the skid in there. I probably should have put the skid on first, but we're gonna put one of these on and then we'll address the skid plate issue. If it is an issue, I'm not positive, but anyway, we're gonna start getting these sliders on. So I'm gonna put the first L brackets in, get all the bolts back in it. I'll mount these brackets and I'll show you where we're at. Okay, so I got two of the brackets on. The last one doesn't get a bracket. I swear, the cardboard they send is just perfect for sitting on, on the cold cement floor. So all you do is slide this baby in there. You can see, maybe you can see where the hole lines up there. So you just slide the bracket on, this bracket. I put my washer and my nut on, and then line this up with the hole that's in your bolt there, tighten it down, and you can get ready to install your slider. I think these guys have literally thought of everything. Like I said, it's almost like this long piece of cardboard is just meant to sit on. I wish I had a lift, but I don't. So thanks Thumper for uh, producing all the cardboard as well. These are some stout brackets. All right guys, here's the finished product with the military tan accents. Makes all the difference, the little details and the military tan matches perfectly. So the only thing I'm going to do, because I'm a little bit OCD, I guess, picky, whatever you want to call it, is the bolt you can see back here. I'm gonna make up a little cardboard template and spray paint those black so you can't see them. Again, probably not that big a deal, but bothers me a little. So, but I think that definitely, definitely sets it off. And they're just about the width of the tires. So you know that if you bang into something, it's not coming in the cab or smashing into the, into the frame of the rig before it hits those. Like I said, guys, it's all in the details. Can't see the bolt heads anymore. Maybe it's picky, maybe it's ridiculous, but I don't want to be able to see that. Now the whole bottom blends in together. Makes all the difference. This thing's coming along pretty nice. Got the rear bumper too, so I gotta get that baby put on. And I got a few other little goodies for it yet, but she is getting there. Okay, so we got the thumper sliders on and the custom tan accents. That big box there. 
is for the bumper. You guys have seen me do this on my two-seater. Had to have it for the four. Changed it up this time with an Axon Warn um, 35S. The other one works fine. Just thought I'd try something a little different. This one's got a synthetic rope. Yes, the other one has a synthetic rope as well, but um, the other one's a little noisy. I mean, it pulls good, it's just loud and slow. So try the warrant, see how that one works out. So we're gonna get started on getting the lights put in the bumper and getting the winch mounted, getting all the brackets mounted. I got the tailgate off the of general. And once we get that done, then we'll start mounting the bumper. Okay, guys. Lights are wired, you wire them. I have my wires go to the inside so I can run them up these posts, zip tie them, plug them in. Winch is installed. So I know I see that Thumper has figured everything out. They cut this little recess in. Hopefully you can see that. So that the light fits right into that recess. Now they do a good job. I mean, look at how thick this thing is. This is built like a truck bumper. It really is, it's all braced. I know I've done this in another video before, but I'm, I'm always taken back by how heavy duty they make these. You don't see this much in a, the UTV world, ATV world. It's usually pretty flimsy crap. I mean, they're not super cheap, but when you see how they're made and the engineering that's gone into it, 100% worth going with Thumper Fab. I, I'll guarantee you that. That's not really a plug for them either. It's just, they really just are, when you look at these sliders. So there's the U-bolt that goes in and then a bracket. I mean, you're destroying something before you do much damage to those. And that's what they're for and they work well. So anyway, back to the bumper, winch is on. Lights are in, so we're gonna get mounting her up. Okay, so light covers are on, winch is mounted, fair leads mounted. These four bolts taken out. It's a bolt right here, it goes all the way through the pivot mount. Bolt right here, goes all the way through the pivot mount. Take those out, and you can start hoisting this heavy pig up into place. So I'm gonna have to grab somebody else cause it's too heavy to hold one handed and try and put bolts in it. Okay, so light covers are on, winch is mounted, fair leads mounted. These four bolts. All right, guys. Talk about some beefy undercarriage area. We got the ricochet arm guards. We got the half inch thick skid front to back. She's beefy. So where the other one ended, back over here, this one goes all the way right to the frame edge and to the trailer hitch. And then the thermal or the thumper fab sliders cover the whole edge of that. See underneath this thing is protected like crazy. No issues there. Kind of a strange feeling being underneath this. Here's the rear ricochet arm guards. Like I said that goes all the way back to the hitch basically. Not much of a chance anything breaking anything on this. 